All right, you guys like these transport videos. We are headed now to Sherman's Dale to go grab the trailer, and then we're gonna run a couple of errands before we do anything, and then we are gonna start heading out to Indiana. We're picking up a customer truck. Initially, the plan was use his trailer uh, to tow it back. Um, it makes a lot more sense just to use our trailer because then I don't have to you know, put it in a spot and this and that. All right, trailer is almost secured. We're gonna pull out, go home. I see a kitty. Kitty. Uh, just need to lock that, and then we're good to go. Checking lights and everything. Let's get this uh, these trailer brakes on. I'm trying to get it to latch, and then check these lights. Make sure everything's good. There we go. Don't forget to grease your balls. Man, everybody's been so pressed lately. I mean, the 1%. I'm going to say the 1% has been pressed lately on my videos. I don't know why you guys watch if you don't like me. I don't know you. I don't care about you. But you still watch. I live rent-free in your head, motherfuckers. I get you guys asking me a lot what changed my mind to go to four-wheel drive. Um, so I'm going to address this comment. I do not car haul anymore. So when I was car hauling and just driving down the highway constantly, two wheel drive made 100% sense. Now, oh boy, I'm gonna, gonna put that window up. I use four wheel drive every single day this truck goes out. I don't know why or how four wheel drive things just follow me and I seem to be using the fuck out of four wheel drive. So that's your reasoning. For power only, four wheel drive is necessary. For car hauling, four-wheel drive is not necessary to go from dealership to dealership or drop off at somebody's house like dropping campers off though absolutely get yourself four-wheel drive all right we just got back with the dakota and it's funny how uh the one idiot who said that these lights weren't done right i haven't gotten high beamed one time since we swapped them out so uh fuck you buddy you was wrong but i was getting high beamed with the halogens so these are fine they're angled correctly and uh, we're gonna head to. I gotta. I'm stealing all my my wife's coins because she decides to fill up the coin jar with pennies. Dakotas are cool too because like the wife likes to fill this up with coins, and then uh, <laughs> then she'll go out and get a nice coffee with them when she has a dollar. Gonna do away with that. Throw them in the shop change jar. Grab these cokes, and we are good to go. All right, boys. We got eight hours to go. Pennsylvania Turnpike. Wife's chilling. We got snacks, truck's running good. Hopefully we uh, don't have any issues. We do have the trailer back there. So we're gonna go pick this truck up and we'll be back. If anything happens, I'll let you guys know. All right, so she just traded out and got her Cokes. Uh, I just took a chocolate milk in there, got some food. I had to grease the trailer like he asked me. And then we're gonna break up this ice and uh, throw that in there because I got chocolate milk for the next two days. We shouldn't be out for long. The plan is that uh, we're back home by Sunday morning so I can drop the trailer off, but that's an easy 1,600 calories right there per chocolate milk. So there we go. Uh, a little bit more ice in there. Cool. And then I lost. There we go. Put that, hook that onto there, and we're good to go. All right, so she saw the turnpike for the first time and was like, holy fucking prices, because it is expensive in here. And this stuff smells like straight vodka. No wonder it kills 99.99% .99 of germs. If we get pulled over tonight, that's going to be the reason one it's of us like get a DUI. It's like taking a shot of straight vodka, to be honest, when you breathe it in. <laughs> it's fucking nasty. <laughs> All right, three hours later, stopped here to take a piss. Probably going to take a nap. But, uh... Yeah, you don't regret coming with yet, do you? All right. Can't wait to have a mega cab. It'll be so much nicer. I'm gonna check this pin. Make sure we're good. Make sure nothing's falling out. The tires are all greased and everything. I ran into two XBO trucks that for some reason, both of them didn't have taillights on their trailers. I did try to warn them. One guy pulled over, the other guy kept sending. So, we got... Ugh, how long we got left? We have 
four hours and 45 minutes left. All right, we're just getting out. I'm gonna let you get in the truck. Uh, here's what we went and picked up. We're in Indiana, it's cold as fuck out here. We got a Ram 3500. We're gonna, a, a, an extensive list on this truck to do. And if you guys are interested in a gear vendor's overdrive, we gotta do that. We gotta put the transmission back in. So everything is down there. Got her winched up, got her chained down. We got the G56 and everything underneath. Got everything under there. You guys won't be able to see it, but there you go. So this thing is pretty heavy and hopefully it makes for an easy trip on the way back. But there you go. We're gonna hit the road. We got about nine and a half hours to go. It's cold. All right, we got the double penetration process going on on Bertha. So we're gonna fill up just enough to get me home. Uh, probably 210, I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there, maybe 250. Um, but everything's going good so far. Next step is just basically driving as much as possible. Got me some chocolate milk out of the cooler. Winch did its job. So we are good, got our chain down. And uh, winch is pulling one way, we got the chain. And then we got the chain in the back, so everything works out. Just went around the pumpkin, but clean, no rust truck. Still has a catalytic converter on it, still has a muffler on it. All right, the camera doesn't do it justice. There we go, that helps a little bit. <coughs> Look at that. Nice and dark. Yeah, we'll see how it does without uh, having windshield wipers. Just haven't had the time to swap the motors out. I got the wipers in the back, but just haven't had the time. Look at all that. It's dark. Yeah, the camera doesn't do it justice. That's super dark. It's gonna be pouring on our way through Ohio. All right, so I went to stop to take a piss, and this is all hard, and then it wasn't. And uh, yeah, we uh, we sunk we sunk the Dodge. I tried getting her out. So I got a tow truck coming, he said a hundred bucks. I was like, all right, whatever. But she, uh, she sunk. She sunk, the trailer even sunk. I told him I'm like three feet off the road, which I am, so. Oh man. Exhaust is on the ground. It is what it is. I had to stop to take a piss. I'm like, I'll just do it here, I don't wanna wait. So that cost me a hundred bucks, but it is what it is. You guys like drama. This genuinely wasn't on purpose. I was pissed. I'm like, I gotta piss. I gotta stop. And I stopped like right here. And then the second I stopped, it just slid. But truck's good. Nothing going on here. I sent the guy the location. Um, but yeah, like this, this doesn't even feel soft. Genuinely, they, this doesn't feel soft. This feels solid. Truck's here. Truck be here. Slowly getting her. Get the winch tight. Shout out, shout out to Hague Towing, I guess, out here in Ohio. Got me out. We are, uh, I don't know what my wife filmed, but how, how was that venture? Um, no more piss breaks. Yeah, no more piss breaks. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to know how to gaslight your wives or girlfriends or whatever? Just think, we would have never gotten stuck had she just said that she had to pee. Because she didn't have to pee, and I was like, alright, well I do. So this is, this is all her fault. 
guilty, you know. <laughs> Let's go check out the truck and see what it is. It's not a big deal. It's a hundred bucks. I'm, I'm not worried about a hundred bucks right now. Um, I will more than make up for it with this shitty content than, uh, than it will cost me in the long run. It'll cost me money now. There's a golf. I don't know what that is. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna look at the truck real quick and then we're gonna go in and get some Hardee's. Okay, I don't think this was my fault, but this battery decided to snap the thing and my shit stopped recording. I literally, I'm gonna go give this whole thing a bath before we get back, but like this happened and then this is the side that got chunked up and every, I'm so tired of my camera not recording. Like it just stops recording out of nowhere and you never know. But for some reason, this battery is now free floating and uh, this ripped. So there's that. So we just fixed our first vibration, and then uh, this one. I think this is the same wheel, too. This thing just likes to take mud. Let's be real here. It's annoying. Well, let me get that peeled off, because I'm gonna have to. All right, so I put a bungee on it, because for some reason, that snapped. That's not my fault, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna clean all that off, make sure that it is spotless before it goes back. It is what it is. You can only win. You can only win so many battles. Realistically, I didn't think there was going to be a problem with pulling because I've never actually gotten stuck on the side of the road, and it looked pretty solid. But apparently, even though 35 degrees, it wasn't frozen. All right, I'm gonna still wash it. We're gonna be heading into a winter storm here in a minute. It's raining now. Uh, they're calling for it around one. Unlock the door for her. Um. Yeah, it's been getting cleaned off with the rain. But this battery keeps uh, wanting to be stupid. So, whatever. Um, you can get in, I unlocked it for you. Luckily, we covered everything here expensive because rain and whatnot. Check this frame. Somebody told me that this frame wasn't fit for towing, which you guys can see. She, she squats a little bit. I'm gonna be filling this thing up here in a minute, but I'd like to check the frame. That end looks, yeah, she's pretty straight. But, yeah, just that little hole right there, that little thin spot, but it's been all right. Checking axles and whatnot. This side looks a little weird, but I thought it looked bent, but She's doing all right. So, like I said, we'll fill up. Shouldn't need to get fuel for the rest of the trip. My damn thing was running out of fuel, so I came over here and parked up on the curb. Now we're gonna get the last little bit out of it. All right, we just got up a little bit ago. We're gonna be back around 10.45 to wash the trailer and the truck. And then this shit happens. Like, it's snowing, it's ugly, it's 29 degrees. I think the weather from Indiana followed us back. I mean, everything's been all right so far since the winch out. I didn't film it, but somebody genuinely got $62. But everything's good, everything's been all right. No tire blowouts, none of that shit. Uh, chains are a little loose, but they're not like loose that this thing's gonna fall off or go anywhere. So then we got the winch pulling forward I'm slowly starting to clean off this tire, get all the counterbalance off. You see all that? The satisfaction of all that. Ugh. Get all that off. I was going to clean it off at the car wash, but it's a rear, so it's not as big a deal. But at the same time, it's like my poor bearings, you know? This battery's been all right, too. I'm gonna let him know he needs one of those, but she's all right. Bertha did all right. Frame didn't bend. Like, uh, oh, you chunk shouldn't be pulling trailers because it has a rust hole. Oh my goodness. Didn't hurt anything. It's a little thin in that one spot, but nothing I can't reinforce later. She's doing all right. Generally they bend like right around in this area, not back here. So just keep that in mind. I've, I've 
physically bent a frame before and it's on an 06. It's kind of neat when it happens. All right, went through, cleaned the truck and the trailer, pulled the ramp out, got as much of it as I could. You guys will see all the dirt and shit. There was a lot, I had to pull the ramp out. Um, cleaned the truck. I didn't like wash it, I just, I soaked it, tire, the tire cleaner and uh, just sprayed it pretty good just to get any and all salt residue and all that off. Cleaned this wheel, that wheel, the rest of the trailer. Like I said, I didn't detail anything, but did want to get a good spray down on it. Like I'm not gonna, like stuff like that. I'm not gonna take the time to do that because it's not what I was supposed to do. I just wanted to make sure any salt, if there is any on it, is off. So now we can go drop it at the yard, take the trailer back home. All right, she's going down pretty smooth. Just gotta make sure the lug nuts clear, which they do. They did clear going up. So I'm gonna try to get it as close as possible. And then we're just gonna pull forward. This one's probably one of the easier ones I've done. Oh, the wrong way. I do have the truck in four low. Just gotta be really careful with that front shaft still connected. You can see. When we were putting it up there, it wanted to keep hitting the frame, so I'd let it go up, drop, go up, drop. All right, let's see where we're at. Just need to get it to the point where the hitch is just touching. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to pull forward as is because we're definitely not enough. All right, we got her unhooked. I didn't unhook the chain yet, just because I wanted to make sure that we actually winch it up correctly, as asked, because winches are just a pain in the ass. We got this, she touching, that's all that matters. By the way, just wanted to give you guys an update on this real quick. Uh, I'm parting this out in like uh, two, three-ish weeks, so nobody took it for the 5,500 that I was asking. So I'm just gonna part it out, make eight grand, call it good. Um, so if anybody wants a good 12 valve engine, let me know, 2,800 bucks. And yeah, that thing's just gonna get parted, so fuck it. Um, this, I just need, I'm gonna put the ramps up. We will reel the winch back in, and then we're done. We're gonna go drop the trailer off. All right, winch is spooled. I made sure to keep tension on it, pulled it out a little bit. Um, it's not perfect, but it's definitely a lot better than it was. And there's actually tension on it. Keep tension on your winches, guys. Damn guys, what fucking asshole would sit here and park up like eight spots like this? What a, what a douchebag. I can't believe he'd do that. Ugh, I can't believe someone would park like that. 